Today, I'll be surviving as a panda for 100 days in Minecraft. As a panda, I've been put into a new zoo called Panda Park. You'd think that this zoo would be an excellent place for a panda. Well, you're wrong. This zoo has a dark secret. If I don't escape this place within 100 days, I'm going to be turned into panda meat. Yeah. So if I'm going to survive, I'm going to need to upgrade my panda over time so I can find a way to escape this place. But this challenge is not going to be easy. As you can see, I'm a panda bear. So for the next 100 days, this is what I'm going to look like, kind of. So yeah, I'm a panda. I'm stuck in a zoo called Panda Park. You can see our massive sign there. And this is not your normal average zoo, but this zoo has an evil secret where they're doing experiments on pandas in a secret lab. And I got to uncover it and escape all within 100 days. It is going to be crazy. Oh, there is also a man at the door. All right, uh, let's see here. Here. I'm gonna hide on these stairs. Lulu. Nope. Sorry. Mimi. Oh, is that you, hun? All right. It's time. Time for <gasps> delicious meat. Oh, apparently they eat panda meat too. Um, okay. I didn't see that part coming. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look around my enclosure to see if I can either find a way out or find anything in here that might be useful. I should honestly probably check down these stairs first. I don't know what these are about. Okay, we got a crate already with a bunch of fried rice. We have a lever. Does it do anything? Oh, it's the lights. <laughs> and we have bamboo that I can spin. Okay. I have no idea what the code is for that, so I'm going to leave. Maybe I can find the code somewhere in this area. Uh, nothing in that water. Nothing over Nothing over this way either. I don't see anything. I need to get out of this bubble and start looking around to see if I can figure out how I'm going to escape because that's always the main goal. I got to escape within 100 days of whatever crazy situation I'm put into. So, yeah. Now, for those that don't know, for those that don't know, Zookeeper Unicorn Man is the person that actually builds these crazy maps so he knows where i'm supposed to go which means he can also guard it so it really puts me at a disadvantage um and the fact that he left means that it's probably not in here unless it's maybe something up on this pedestal maybe nope nothing up here i was getting creative though is there any okay we got a security camera there oh a camera there a camera there oh my god this thing is completely surrounded in cameras well that's gonna make life a little difficult because if i walk out of here unicorn's gonna see me immediately on one of the security cameras and i'm gonna be caught and sent to a slot house and if you don't know what those are those are the numbered buildings i'll get into those later but yeah i guess i gotta find a way to get rid of those cameras if i'm gonna have any chance of getting out of this bubble which actually looks like i can climb out the top but i can't do it with those cameras there so i gotta find a way to get rid of those first i guess if i'm not going to be able to escape because the cameras immediately i'm gonna go ahead and start working on some sort of survival base so i have a main hq that i can go back to store my fried rice and other tools that'll all aid in my escape so i'm gonna start grabbing some wood now grabbing some of the stuff i'm gonna need to do this and i guess i'm gonna go from there build a survival base that's pretty basic it doesn't need to be much i don't need much of a survival base for this Hey guys, I want to let you know that I'm getting extremely close to 70,000 followers over on Twitter. So give me a follow at Rocky and give us a hand in getting to 70,000. To give a little incentive though for you to go over there, we are going to be doing a $100 Amazon gift card giveaway over on Twitter right as this video is released. So if you want to enter in that, you got to follow me on Twitter at Rocky. After taking a few days to complete my survival base, I mapped the security camera locations around Panda Park. They seem to be literally everywhere. There's no way I'm going to be able to freely move around this zoo without being caught by Zookeeper Unicorn Man so long as those cameras are in place. And worst yet, if I am caught, I get sent to one of the numbered buildings located around Panda Park. Now, if you've seen any of our past videos, you know that those numbered buildings are slaughterhouses. And if I get caught outside of my panda pen, I get sent to one and have to face some sort of insane challenge. Anyway, from here, I have to figure out some way to disable those cameras if I'm going to have any chance at escaping okay so with the survival base pretty much where it needs to be me really finding no other way out of this place i'm gonna have to scale this tree and climb out the top i'm really nervous i'm gonna get seen by these cameras immediately though so because there's so many cameras around my first goal is to locate security so i'm gonna get up here real quick and see if i can figure out which building in here is the security building where i can disable these cameras that's a circus tent Okay, a bunch of more numbered buildings. That doesn't look numbered. That also doesn't look numbered. That in the back looks very security-ish. Even as a relay tower. And then there appears to be something there. I can't tell if that's part of five or not, though. Is there any areas that don't have cameras where I'll be safe? Oh, this is gonna be really hard. This looks like my best way to go. But how do I get across that gap? Oh, there's also guards walking around. Oh, God. I think I just have to book it across this bridge and cut to the right. We're going for it. We're going for it. Oh, please don't die. Please don't get caught. Please don't get caught. Okay, stop. Did anything see me? And I don't think any cameras can see me. So unless I was seen in that quick second, I should be okay. 
Okay. We'll quickly go up to the building we want to check. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Okay, there we go. We're good. Oh, wait, no unicorns up in that building. Oh, and it looks just like a security building. They even have PC monitors. But I can't go in there if unicorns in there. Oh God. Maybe we can check out other buildings. I guess so if I can't shut down security, I can at least check out the other buildings. Like, what is this? Welcome to the security tree. Wait, isn't that security? Wait, is this security or is that? Oh, there's a lot of cameras there. Oh my God, I just realized that. Wait, which is security? How is that not what? Wait, I'm confused. Okay, I'm gonna check this out just to be sure. Oh, he sees me. Get away. Get away, you're not catching me in your net. Um, wait, no, this might be security. Look at all the PCs in here. Oh, wow, they do a lot of damage. Come on. There we go. I was like, God, will he die? How many do we got in here? Two. Okay, I'm gonna crit one with the axe real quick. There we go. Oh, oh, axe is slow. Whoa, we're low, we're low, we're low. I killed one. Eat, run back, die. Okay, he's dead. Okay, we got one more in the room. Okay, back up. There we go. The axe is definitely the way to go. Okay, is this security? Um, Oh my god, it is. Yes, this is the camera monitor. I believe this gives me access to the cameras, right? <gasps> I can literally use the cameras. Hold on, let me check a few others. Five. Yeah, see, there's a view on the dome. There's a view there. There's another view of the dome. Oh, unicorn's going to the dome. Okay, that gives me a chance to actually check out the other building, but we definitely have access to the cameras. If I get destroy this camera monitor, unicorn cannot use these cameras any longer. And that means I can go in and out of the dome without having to worry about being caught. But I still want to figure out what that building over there is. But for now, at least the cameras are disabled. Yeah, I have no idea. This is definitely not security. No, definitely. Definitely not security. Okay, well, let's go back to the dome for now. After sneaking into the security room and gaining access to the cameras, I spent a few days destroying as many of the cameras as I possibly could. With most of them gone, I'll be able to move around a lot easier inside of the zoo. However, I'm now a bit confused on how I'll be able to escape through the main gate. It's not only heavily guarded, but it also appears to be impossible to break. So I'm gonna have to find some other way to escape or find some way to break through that gate. Okay, so with the cameras removed, I can finally advance out and start looking around this place and learning what there is around because that has been a challenge so far oh my god i see unicorn bouncing i want to be careful coming out here hold up i saw his nameplate am i safe okay so if oh okay he's, he's in security right now he's probably trying to figure out why the cameras aren't working so i'm going to take this chance to check out some of the other areas then let's go this way i don't know what this is about but i, I don't see a way of getting in there without killing these guards so i'm gonna do that what they're not even fighting back oh now you're fighting back <laughs> they weren't even attacking. So this looks like it's just a storage room. Yeah, okay, it's just full of food and stuff. Now, I'm good on food for the moment, but I'll keep this in mind. Okay, it looks like there's something locked in there. Also looks like this is a locked room, but I don't see anything in there, but it doesn't mean there's nothing. We got a hidden anvil, a full, an enchanter. I'll take the enchanter any day. That really seems to be it. So this must just be a place I can go to get food and stuff around the area. I don't really see anything else in here. So besides this, which I probably need to find a lever for to open this or, or some sort of key. Okay, well, if unicorn's over there to the side, I'm not going to go towards security. I'm going to go the other way and just see what we can find along the way because we got to learn more about this place. Okay, we got something right here. This thing I wanted to check out because I didn't know what this was. Ow. Okay, this also appears to be some sort of slaughterhouse. I didn't think it was at first, but it must be. Cross the bridge and just go over here because there was another non-numbered building right here that I want to check out. Oop, guard. Okay, looking around with all the pink, this is probably where Zookeeper Unicorn lives. I would take a guess based on all the like pink and stuff like that. The upstairs might be different. I'm going to quickly look at it just to see. Get away. Get away. Okay, yeah, it's just all pink again. So I'm not too worried about that. This seems to just be his office or where he lives. Is there anything else? Oh, there's that blue building. We still haven't checked out that blue building yet. So what is this building? We got an elevator. I know there's an upstairs. Oh, it's just gross, crowded rooftop. I'm not... There's nothing you can even store up here. There's nothing here. Is there a down? Oh! Look at this. A hidden basement. Okay, we got a code here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nameplate. 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 Uh, please don't come down here. Please don't come down here. Please don't come down here. I need to find a code to get down here. One, two, three, four, please. No. Okay, we're good. He went upstairs. He went upstairs. Go. Go, go. Escape. Escape. No, 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 no
I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go. Wait, unless I'm supposed to like, am I supposed to do this? Oh, wait, no, there's a hole right there. I can escape right there. Oh, wait, am I going to get cheated again if I do this? I think if I go down here, I'm going to get teleported. Okay, if I get called a cheater for this, this is not my fault. Here we go. Jump and... Yeah, I saw... Ah! I saw it coming. Okay, we got two more kids up here. I wish there was... Oh, wait, I can parkour. Wait, I can go up here. Oh, there's barriers. Oh, there's actual barriers there. So I can't go up on the fences. So I got to run straight through, basically. Ow. Okay. <laughs> we juke the kids. Now we go up here. Okay. <laughs> Dude, chill. Okay, here we go. We got to nail this. We got to nail this. <laughs> Wait, what? Was there? There's a barrier there? Why? Is that cheating to go along this wooden edge? Oh, God, it is. Oh, come on. Don't hit me into the mud. Oh, my health is low. Well, it's on half, I guess, but low enough. Oh. <laughs> don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Jump here. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Yes, we're out. We're out. There we go. We survived it. Okay. Now we just have to get back within the panda populace without unicorn noticing. And I should be fine. Okay, so back up the tree we go. As a panda, this climb, by the way, is not as easy as you'd think it'd be. First things first, we need to go ahead and start looking for some information on either the code that was in the basement of there or the three things that were down that staircase, the three twisty bamboos. I gotta find something to start making some progress. So I'm gonna make my way towards Unicorn's house to start checking that out to see if there's anything in there. Now, we just came out of there. So I have to be very careful getting over there. That guard is going ballistic. Okay, he seems to be going towards the watchtower that's over by eight. So I'm going to take this chance to quickly get over to his house and start checking it out. Now, the first floor appears to be his living quarters. So I'd assume the second floor has got to be his office, but I'm going to check this out real fast to make sure. Okay. Yeah, it appears to be, but it, yeah, it seems to be locked. If I hit this, I, I'm afraid to ring this. Okay, nothing happened, but it didn't open the door. So I guess I just can't get up there for right now. But I can go to the first floor, I believe. This appears to be an all unlocked. It is. Okay, what do we got here? We got a bathroom. Oh, we got some health potions. Okay, I'm looking for like a code or a key card or something more like that, though. We got some papers. Okay, I'll, I'll, I gotta make sure none of these are like codes hidden within the papers. Ooh, another that. Panda pen. <gasps> Whoa, panda pen key card. Wait, is this the door he has in and out of the panda pen? That could be super useful. Wait, so I don't have to climb the dumb tree anymore? Okay, more papers. Another potion oh my god another enchanted book oh this is a good spot to loot this was the spot to loot in fact potion book what does this say upstairs access okay so it looks like i need some sort of key card to get upstairs so i can't do that right now there's also a boomerang right here i'll take the boomerang i think that's it there's gold armor i could take can i oh no i can't take it okay well if i can't take the armor then don't worry about it i'm just gonna go ahead i am going to get out of here because he appears i can't tell if he's close or not and make sure i'm not gonna get caught no he's overlooking so i can't just run out i'm gonna have to oh god there's a guard coming use this tree it's coming now the zoo guest shouldn't attack me right oh look at that okay yeah we're good okay i think we're good i think he didn't see us and even if he did please let this key card work he got me let's test it yes okay we have a much easier way in and out now oh it's not like a big deal but at least it gives me an easier way in and out and honestly it's so much better than climbing this tree so for now i'm gonna count that day as a win and i actually still got some time so i'm gonna keep looking for codes and stuff after sneaking around Panda Park, I found several locked areas that I need to find ways into. I decided to spend my time looking for a keycard that would get me into the zookeeper's office. And I've had little luck finding it so far. But I'm gonna keep looking because I know it has to be somewhere. Okay, so now that we're done doing a little bit of mining, let's go and make our way over to the gift shop. Because we haven't really checked this area yet. Could be a spot where I could find a code or something. So we're gonna do that. Let me just murder this man real quick. Okay, so here's the gift shop. I want all of them. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Blended, oh, man. Blended, blended. oh man, oh man, I'm a statue. I'm a statue too. Uh, listen, listen. I killed the panda that I needed today. <laughs> Why don't you care about my problems? Look, could I just borrow one of the life-size ones? Life oh, one? that would never work. That would never work. <laughs> you can't even move. Wait. No. 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 When did I? When did we get two? And why are they all <laughs> center? We need to adjust the display for this. <laughs> Wait. Oh! You're real. You're real. Get back here. Get back here. Wait. You and I. You and I. Let's strike a deal. All right. Baby. All right. Listen. I got a show I need to put on tonight, and I just killed the panda bear that was going to form it. All right. I won't get you in trouble. In fact, I will give you a reward. Or if you do this flawlessly for me tonight, all right? You know what? I'll, okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Look, all you got to do is ride a tricycle. Okay, think let me just, let me just, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. I'm going to take your deal. All right, all right. You Not look like you're agreeing to it, all right? Don't. So let's let's do this. Now, listen, we're both on thin ice right now. If I if I get ice, you get ice. Understand? Um, okay, so never mind. There is a risk of my death here. What? All right, all right. All you got to do is ride the tricycle and get all the way Wait. to the tippy top over there, all right? Excuse me? Get in position. Okay, I'm in position. Oh. Oh, I'm really glitchy. <laughs> Look how stupid I look on this thing. <laughs>
Okay, here we All go. All right, hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, get ready to see the amazing Popo as they take the treacherous trip along Burning Lane. All right, Popo, I'm show sorry. them what you got. Okay. Ah! Oh, and a marvelous leap by Popo as he approaches the wire of doom. Are you? I have to go across this wire. Oh, I thought I just fell. Oh you my god. Great Popo! Show him what you're made of! Okay, I did it! I did it! Now, as he scales the tower of trembling doom! Yep, trembling doom. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is so doofal. Okay, there we go. Popo's Please. taking his time as he does not want to be turned into a burning crisp. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty obvious. Watch this bear go. Okay. Oh my goodness. This I can do. Now, watch as he teeters along the wires. Oh, I hate this. Ooh! The suspense is killing me, folks. Is everybody holding their breath? Because I am. Please. Okay, where am I going from here? What? What is happening here? Now, what? as Popo takes the plunge into the trampoline <coughs> onto his final trial. What? I have to fall off this? I don't know if I can do this. Okay, here we go. Oh, I made it. Oh, Popo has made the jump. Finally, Popo needs to scale the tricky stairs all the way to the finish line. Please. Ooh, come on. Oh, okay. Yes, we're doing it. He's doing it. Oh. One more. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh, please. And watch Ooh. as Popo makes it right on top. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I did it. Popo, press the button. Oh, uh. You've done it. Oh, thank you all for coming. Thank you. The oh. next show starts in 30 minutes. Thank you. Oh, my God. That was awful. But I lived. How do I get down? Oh, yeah. All right. Over Popo, here. Popo, get down from there. All right, Popo, you really you really saved my keister back there, all right? So listen, what do, what do you want for a reward, all right? All right, how about how about one of these shiny objects I got here, all right? One of these. Oh, I'll gladly take that. All right, you can go ahead and put that in your little enclosure, all right? Head on back. I got to go find another panda. Okay. Oh, my God. God, that was insane. After surviving Slaughterhouse 2's crazy circus tricks, it was time to get back on track. I needed to find the key card to Unicorn Man's office. There were still tons of areas I had to check out around Panda Park, so this was taking forever. But luckily for me, on day 27, I finally found something. Okay, so let's go look around some of the other areas we've been to, because I've officially looked everywhere, and I've found no codes, no key cards, nothing. Like, nothing. I've found nothing yet, which is a little nerve-wracking, because at this point, I feel like I'd have a better idea of how to escape this place, yet I'm still in the dark. Okay, there's two guards here. I've murdered them before. Let's murder them again. These guards really stink at their job. Okay, so we know there's something past this, and we need a lever for it, so maybe the lever's hidden in one of the crates or something. Oh, Lapis! I didn't even see this before. Well, now I can enchant. Wait, hold up. Can I? <gasps> Wait, no way. Is it gonna be up here in one of these crates? Wait, there's a lever. Did that open it? Oh my god, it did! What is it? Lab override. Is it? Oh, I finally. Okay. I was looking, honestly, to find a way into Unicorn's office, but I will take this. This is the lab code. So maybe the lab's the first place I'm supposed to unlock. Okay. Well, let's go try this code out to make sure it is, in fact, the lab code, but I'm 99% sure that this is the code for the lab. So go up here. Okay. So this is the lab. We go down here. Here's the code 4132. Oh my god, it worked. Wait, now I need a key card. Okay, but wait a minute. In past videos, whenever something was locked behind multiple things, this was my goal to escape. So we have a code that looks like a key card, and I can see below that it looks like I'm also going to need some sort of circuit as well. So I think I found the place that I need to find to escape. The lab is going to be what helps me escape, meaning there must be something at the end of this that's either going to give me TNT to blow up the front gate, or I'm going to either maybe turn into a mutant panda. That'd be really cool. Yeah, anyway, we're going to figure it out as time goes on but we definitely just found our way past the first set of security leading into the lab. Okay, so I've been working to try to see if I could guess this code, and I can't guess this code. So I'm kind of at a loss because I've, I've checked everywhere. I have looked everywhere in this place, and I found nothing. So either it's like really hidden, sort of like the other place was, or I'm just missing it. There's a bunch of babies. Now, I, I, wait, I can talk to them? I didn't know I could talk to them. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You, you, you. Well, I found the office key card. <laughs> Was it here the whole time, really? There's no way this was here the whole time, right? So I need 40 sugar cane and 15 gold coins. But to get a single gold coin, I need 64 bamboo. 960 bamboo for just the 15 gold coins. I need a thousand bamboo for this? Just to get the office floor key? Is that a joke? Oh my god. I don't even think there's bamboo in here. Well, I guess I have to go look around for bamboo. 
Uh, I see bamboo in the shop. I see bamboo down there. I could take some from the shop. Uh, you know, let me take that from the shop real quick. Excuse me, coming through, taking all the bamboo in the shop. My bamboo now. There we go. We got the bamboo in the shop. Okay, I don't see anything over here. You don't think it would be near those giant stalks of bamboo, do you? Where were those? Somewhere on this map, there was giant bamboo. Oh, it's across from me. I see it. Let's head over there and see if that has bamboo. I bet you it might. Okay, let's go up here. Okay, we're almost at the bamboo area. Let's go in. Okay, this, this is definitely not where I'm supposed to be. I think I'm in another slaughterhouse here. I want to get here. Here's where I want to be. Yeah, yeah, here we go. I don't see any bamboo. Oh, I found some bamboo. Do you talk? Okay, well, this seems pretty easy. I guess I'll just collect some bamboo. Hey! Huh? What are you doing in my bamboo reservoir, both of you? What do you mean? We're... What? Are we not supposed to be in here? Are you too crazy? You're not supposed to. That's for testing purposes only. Oh. Unbelievable. Wow. All right. Okay. Listen, I'm feeling generous today. So one of you is getting out alive, okay? All right. Now, I don't okay. like no bamboo bandits, okay? But let's make this a little bit of fun. You like bamboo so much, you collect as much as you can, okay? Now, the only condition is you collect the most, you get to live. And if you collect the least, well, you get the opposite of live. Well, I need to collect a thousand anyway. All right. If you like bamboo so much, Start getting go go go! I'm going. Come back. Collect as much as you can. I'm just breaking everything I can, and I'll pick it all up as I go. Come on. I don't even know until it's all gone. Boy, sure can't collect bamboo. You're good okay. at it. We gotta be very quick about this. Oh wait, I live this because if I can live this, this should be enough bamboo, honestly, to do this challenge. Don't just break it. Make sure you're grabbing it. There we go. Woo! You're like lawnmowers over there. Look at all this stuff we're getting. We're being very. We got. We're picking it all up. We're making sure we get it all. Okay, let's go up here. Oh my god, there's so much bamboo! My inventory's almost full. Oh no, we have other stuff in here. Let's get rid of that, 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 that. We don't want any of that junk. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say you got one minute left. Okay, one minute. I gotta break as many of these as I can. Here we go. Right in the middle. Break it all. Break all this. We definitely broke enough. We just need to grab it all now. I definitely just picked up a mushroom again. We gotta make sure we don't do that. Get this stuff down here. 30 seconds. Okay, okay. Drop that, drop that. Keep it going, boys. 10 seconds. Come on, break, 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 fast, fast. All this, we can get Five, it all. Five, four, three, two, on. one. All right, stop, stop. Come back, come back. Making my way back. Grab all this in the corner on my way back. There we go. Make sure we have enough. Grab all the bamboo I can on the way back. I see. Couple right here. I'll grab this one. Did I fill up my inventory? Oh, all right. we're close. All right, boys. Now, I'm going to be real square honest with you, okay? You got bamboo like a champ. Oh, my goodness. I, I, really? I have not seen any panda bear grab bamboo like you have. And you, what were you doing, man? around like that I, I don't even need to count it up i know for a fact you were the worst one in this one anyway oh that's all he got oh all right hey if you want that bamboo you can go ahead and have it okay <laughs> just i'm sorry about any side effects you may get from eating it <laughs> excuse me oh he's just leaving okay let's go back well that worked out in our favor because now we have a bunch of bamboo but oh my god that was awful after collecting all the bamboo in Slaughterhouse 3, I was finally able to trade the panda for his keycard and gain access to Unicorn Man's office. Once inside his office, I looked around for a bit and couldn't really find anything useful. So I decided to look around Panda Park for the code to the three bamboo item frames located below the panda pen. Unfortunately, I couldn't find those either, so I kind of wasted a ton of time here. Meaning, I'm going to have to pick up the speed if I'm going to have any chance at escaping. Okay, so I still have not found anything of use, so I'm going to actually make my way back to Unicorn's office because it does seem a little suspicious that there was nothing useful there after working so hard to get that key card. It just feels wrong. Either I missed... Oh, ow, ow. I forgot about you. I forgot about you. There we go. So either A, I totally missed whatever was in here. So we got some beetroot soup I didn't grab. Okay, maybe I'll just click... Oh, I didn't grab any of this. Okay, so I was just missing stuff. Um... Did I check the TV? I didn't! Oh, it was here! Oh, I'm so stupid! Oh my god, I've wasted like 10 days looking for this stupid thing! Oh my god, I missed a god apple too? This is ridiculous. Okay, well this should be the thing that lets me get past the second part of the lab. Okay, what's the safest way back to the lab? I'm gonna go this way. Okay, so let's go back downstairs in the lab to the hidden basement. Okay, so we got past the code. This... Sh Yes, okay, we got past this. Now it looks like we need either some sort of circuit, it looks like. I, I don't really understand this, to be honest with you. Wait a minute. I think I figured it out. I think I need some sort of power block here that'll push this up so then I can do this whole, like, puzzle thing. I have to drop that red concrete right here, and I need another power source right here. But I have to find whatever power source Unicorn made for the map, otherwise it's cheating. I can't just put levers there. So I need to go find those, wherever they might be, which just basically leads me back to square one of trying to find stuff which i thought i already searched this whole place so i really don't know where anything could be so uh this is gonna be interesting all right 
After getting past the keycard door inside of the lab, I was finally one step closer to getting out of this place. But I was starting to run low on time. It seems like to unlock the next door in the lab, I'm gonna need some sort of power source that can power the pistons down there. So I started looking for this power source wherever it could be. And I knew it had to be somewhere. So I wanna quickly go this way and check out the top of number eight because I'm starting to check the slaughterhouses because I honestly have no other clue where things could be at this point. I guess they could be in slaughterhouses. It's possible. Like it's not usual, but it's possible. So I'm gonna go check it out just to be safe. How do I get up that tower? Do I go in here or is this... Okay, yeah, I'm up here. Now, I don't see anything. This gives me a good vantage point. I don't see anything up here. Okay, where's Unicorn and all this? I gotta make sure I keep an eye on him, too. Well, I don't see him, so there's really not that many places to look. So I guess I could go check security again. And so I'm gonna... Oh, he's coming. Oh! Uh, uh, do I have a water bucket? I don't have a water bucket. To the side, please hit my parkour jumps. Oh, my God, we're doing it. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> what? I'm not hitting at all. <laughs> Oh, no. You know, I can hear your giant, giant old bear paw prints on the snow. <laughs> you aware of that? <laughs> no. Uh, I guess not. You allowed me to hear you with your giant bear paw prints on the snow. Hey! Uh, uh, hey! Uh, oh! Okay, okay, okay. Now he pulled up the rifle. Unbelievable. Could I have actually gotten out that way? You know what? What? You want to be part of my new panda entertainment show? What? It's called Paws or Die. I'm still working on it. Basically, I put a bunch of pandas into an arena. I basically make them fight. What? And then the last one that comes out alive gets the loot. That sound like fun? She sounds like a battle royale. Well, that's actually exactly what that is. But I can't have cheaters going in, you know, being all over prepared. So if you happen to have any items on, you put it on in here. And trust me, I'll know. You don't want to go in there. Now, listen, if you step on that pressure plate and you bring anything in there with you, all right, it's going to get deleted out of your inventory. So you really want to be nothing. honest about this. Okay, right. well, I have nothing on me, so I'm just going to step up. Panda survival game. Viciously slaughter to win. Okay, what's in this one? Some cookies and some pants. That's not that great, but it'll, it'll do for now. Oh, there's another pin. Oh, I got hit already. Oh, God. I'm already trying to be murdered by other pandas. I, okay, I got a weapon. Oh, I got a shield. I actually have two iron swords now and a shield. Good. Good to know. Is this panda down here? Oh, he sees me. Let's go for him. Okay, we killed him. He dropped something. Oh, one coming in. We got an iron chest plate. That's gonna be super useful. Wait, I have a shield. There we go. I can't see when they're charging, but I can still get them. Nice. I got a bow and arrow too. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We got some in the middle. Oh, I want to get some of these in the middle. Nice, nice, nice. Bunch of stuff in the middle. Arrow chest. Come on. There we go. We got him. Woo! Okay, let's eat some food. Okay, we have the middle. We have control of the middle. We just gotta make sure we kill them all. We gotta get all the pandas out of here. And I guarantee you there's more. Okay, I don't think there's really anything, any other loot here that's really that useful outside the arrows. We can kill them all from here. We can do it. Yep, I see what. Nice, that was easy. We slaughtered that one. There we go, dead. No panda up here. Oh, there's one up here. Oh, I got hit down. I got hit down. Nice, we got one. We got one. Okay, there's pandas hidden in the buildings too. Oh, I see one. I see one up there. Oh my god, you have a lot of health. Oh my god, these give no food. Give me some scallions or something. Oh, panda! We got him. We got him. Woo! Go around the buildings. Go around the buildings. Okay, we got him once. Oh, I missed. Oh, we got him. He's dead. Yes. There we go. Oh, that was it. That was the last one. Winner, winner, bamboo dinner. Oh, hey, you made it. Uh, uh, po, po, I knew you could do it. Yeah, I take it I have to give you all the stuff now. Whatever you got uh, from that, make sure to put it in this chest. We don't have a very intricate system yet. Honor system, all right? There you go. I'm not one to cheat your maps. Okay, I'm taking my normal stuff back, though. After you get your stuff back, go ahead and make your way on back to the pen. Okay, well, that didn't work. So I'm going to go back, like I said, and start checking out some of the areas I've already been to just for a little... Wait, has this button been there the whole time? No way, right? Could I have just been doing that the entire time? I have no idea. But anyway, I want to quickly check out security in the gift shop one last time because I haven't really looked at them super in depth. Gift shop I got into for a few seconds and had to hide. So I want to make sure that there's nothing like hidden below, like a hidden lever down here. Because I would totally hide a lever down here. Uh, nothing in this back corner. Oh, wait, what? Oh, come on. I thought I found something. Oh, my God. Am I going to drown? What about the other water? You have a hole that's going to lead me to a dead... Wait, this one has a light. Wait, what? Oh, I found one of the redstone blocks. Let me bring this redstone block over to the lab. I don't see unicorn. I think we're okay. Down here we go. We got past the first door. We've definitely gotten past the second door. This one said it was for the piston, so it's this one. So I, now I can start doing the puzzle. So if I... Well, no, I guess the puzzle's kind of useless because I still need another block. So instead, no, I'm going to start looking for the next redstone block first. Then I'll do the puzzle. So let's go look for that redstone block, and then we'll finish that puzzle. And I'm hoping that's the last bit of security so I can find out what this lab is for. 
finally four. After finding the hidden room below the zoo gift shop, I retrieved my first redstone block for the puzzle inside of the lab. And just in time too, because we officially hit halfway through this challenge. Meaning if I'm going to escape, I have to start moving much, much faster. Okay, so we are really close to getting out of here. Oh God, am I gonna really die? No, thank goodness. So I need to keep looking around the lab to see if there's any other redstone blocks. Now I haven't actually looked at this side of the map too much because really all there is is slaughterhouses and the lab. There's nothing really over here. Now I've looked at eight a little bit. I want to actually look up by this wall a little more. This area caught my attention earlier as having coal in it. Maybe there's like a hidden mine down here or something or a cave. No, it's just coal. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I haven't really gone down. This, this is a cave. I haven't gone down here yet. I feel like maybe I should check it just to be safe. Okay. I'm going to check it to be safe, but I doubt it's anything. I got torches so I can keep this place pretty well lit. I'm out of wood. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not keeping it pretty well lit. Like I said, more lava down here. Oh, it's not lava. It's a torch and a panda. Are you? Oh my God. It's here. Oh my God. It's actually here. Wait, wait, wait. I heard there's a cave nearby with a legendary stick of bamboo. And if I can find the great bamboo stick, he'll give me this piston puzzle block. It could be anywhere. Okay. Let me check down here first. I guess I'll take this chance to mine where I can too. Cause look at that. Some more lapis. So I'm just going to keep looking around for it. And I'm sure if I keep looking, it's going to turn up eventually. But I mean, it could literally be anywhere. So it turns out there was a random panda living inside of a cave inside of Panda Park. And he says that if I can find his legendary bamboo, that he will give me the redstone block that I need. The problem is that these caves are massive. And I have been looking around these caves for days. And I have not found this bamboo anywhere. So either it is not in this cave or I'm just yet to stumble upon the right spot. Either way, I've got to keep looking because it's the only lead I have. Okay, so still no luck. Okay, nothing over there, nothing over here. That's not natural. That's bamboo. Is this the legend? Diamonds, 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 diamonds. Yeah, we found diamonds, but I don't see any legendary bamboo. This could be right here. Oh my God, I have it. It's it, the legendary bamboo. Okay, we just have to get, now, now I, I don't know how, how long it's gonna take, but I gotta find my way back to the surface because now I just need to talk to the panda, give him the bamboo, and I have the second block of redstone. We're getting close. I, oh, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. I found my way back. Yes, yes. Okay, we're good. Trading for the redstone block. We got it. Now we should bring it to the lab. We're, oh, yes. Oh my God, we're out. Yes. I've literally been down there for days. Down to the lab we go. Down this staircase. Put the second block in its place. Now we got to do the puzzle. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. We're going to hit this one to pull it. Pull it again. That one. That one. Okay. Now we need to push it. There we go. That worked. Now we need to, uh, now we need to pull it and it should be good. Oh, wait, this open. What is this? Circuit needed. Circuit needed. <gasps> no, I'm so close. What is this room? Okay, wait, I think I know what this room is. I bet you this is gonna turn me into a mutant panda. And I bet you the mutant panda can break the gate. I need to get through this to escape. I'm almost positive that what that's what this is gonna be. We need to find two circuits first. So I'm going back out because if I find those two circuits, we can escape this place finally. We are so close to getting out of here. Okay, so let's go looking around for these circuits. They could be anywhere. I'm gonna honestly start by checking here because I've checked everywhere looking for the other stuff and I haven't actually gone through the stands of the circuit circus yet so there could be something do it okay they just say hello to my name but it wouldn't put me past if there was something hidden here because it's pretty wide open it's not like other slaughterhouses where it's a little more hidden this is pretty wide open oh nameplate oh no 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 hey oh he sees me yep he sees me hey oh no over here i saw you i saw you snooping around i saw you walk on in here so i came on in to investigate i was watching all the way up from that Big old perch. All right, now listen, I'm feeling pretty generous today, which is most days, because I'm a pretty generous person. All right, I have been working on a project here, okay? And it's finally finished, but I need someone to play test it for me, all right? You play test it for me, and you go ahead and get to live, go back in your enclosure, like nothing ever happened. That doesn't sound that fun. He's about to, yep. This over here is my temple shooting gallery. Excuse me? All right, so listen. All you got to do is get in the mine cart. Don't get out of the mine cart, okay? And you just got to shoot your way on out to the exit, which is on this side over here. I don't even right? get a fully repaired bow. I get a damaged bow. All right. Good luck. Get on in there. Okay. I don't even know. What do you mean a shooting gallery? What is that? Oh, well, I guess I'm moving. Also, make sure to look out for buttons. Buttons. Okay, noted. Oh, I'm going really fast. Oh, I slowed down. Oh, I see why it's a shooting gallery. Get away. I understand why it's a shooting gallery now. I missed. Oh, God. I hope that does not hurt me later. Oh, I don't even think I had to kill that guy. Oh, we killed that one. Oh, we got one down here. Oh, I broke my minecart with my own bow. Oh, God. Okay, I'll have to put it down in a second. I can get it back. Okay, where's my minecart? Okay, it broke. It was in my inventory. I'm good. Every time I shoot it, I break it. Okay, I want to try this because I think I'm supposed to shoot that button. He said I could shoot buttons for a reason. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, it pushed one down. <laughs> Getting shot. Please don't push me off. Okay, it doesn't push me off. I don't know where that other zombie went. Oh, here he is. He's in front of me. Okay, we got a few right here. Oh, God. Come on. Okay, they're both dead. We've got to be nearing the end of this, right? Oh, I'm being hit. Oh, no. There's a whole ending room. Oh, God. Okay, we need to run. We need to run. We need to run. We got, we're being chased by this man's. Come on. We killed him. Okay, did he drop something? He did. He dropped a lever. I was hoping that would be a key card, but I'll take a lever. What's the lever for? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think it's just for literally that. I think I have to just put the lever here and flick it. And then I have to go this way. Okay, now we're going back up. Okay, is there any more? Oh, no, I did it. Oh, you made it. All right, how was it? On a scale of one to five bamboos, how fun was it? Do I have any bamboo on me? Well, that's a zero then. That bad, huh? All right, well, thanks for uh, play testing it for me. Uh, if you can go back to the enclosure, I still got some work to do. <laughs> okay, I'll let him go do his work. I'm going to go make my way back. Because uh, I'm running out of slaughterhouses. I think there's only two two or three left at this point. After surviving Zookeeper Unicorn Slaughterhouse, I started searching the zoo for the two circuits I needed to get past the last part of the lab. If I can find them, I'm assuming that I'll get the powers of the Uber Panda, which might give me the ability to break through the main game. Only time will tell. So with that in mind, it's time to find those circuits. Okay, so these circuits, um, I've gone ahead and checked security out. I've checked the lab out in and around the lab. So I'm gonna go back and check this building because it's basically what I have to do is just keep checking until I figure it out. The bathroom being off to the side is kind of weird. So I, I'm thinking, oh, nope, just a weird build. That looked like something should have been hidden there, but no, of course not. I'll double check the first and second floors. I did miss this diamond spear before. That would have been nice to have earlier. Well, I guess you could check the carpets for hidden elevators. That does happen sometimes. It's pretty rare, but there could be a hidden elevator. <gasps> There's a hidden elevator. Oh wait, it's another bamboo thing though. I don't have a code for that. Left, down, right, left. Hold up, if I bring that code to the one at my house, down, right. <gasps> oh my God, it was the code. Oh, and it's a circuit. No wonder it took so long to find these dumb things. Oh my God, we got the first circuit. I actually cannot believe that worked. I thought that was a total shot in the dark that that was going to be the case. I thought I had to find another code. Let's bring this circuit up to the lab, put it in its place. We need one circuit. We are one circuit away. Boom. First circuit is in its place. Now we just need to find one more, and we are good to go. Okay, so some great news. We've been making progress. We just need one last circuit. I'm sure there's still a few things hidden that I got to figure out, but we are getting really close to solving the escape of Panda Park. So let's go ahead. Let's start looking for the second circuit. Uh, can I hear a gunshot? Aha! Whoa, what? That's right. I was hanging out on top of the tree. Like that tree? That tree. Oh. I didn't even see you. Well, now I'm caught. That's and while I was baloney. hanging out with my leisure time, I found a promiscuous panda leaving his enclosure. Well, it's your fault. You left a button in there. Now, what do I do with misbehaving panda bears? Oh, oh, I know, I know. Oh, but I'm going to need another panda for this. One sec. You, you come on out. You're just grabbing a random panda. That's not fair. All right, you two, you're going to race to the death. Excuse me? <laughs> All right, come on. Follow me. Uh, okay, we're here, I guess. Um, uh, all right, here we are. This... I'm pretty proud of this race course that I've gone and made. It's, uh, I was it's wondering what this attraction. trench was. I mean, I assumed it was a race course, but... It's a fun little attraction. I like to shove pandas in here once in a while, make them race to the death. Whee! Now, let... Hey, no boomerangs on the course. Oh, sorry. All right, now listen... Okay, I want you two to do three laps around. Okay, I need you to bob and weave around the deadly traps. Okay, and uh, you know, first one to make three laps wins. Three uh, laps. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, how am I gonna actually keep this boomerang on you? Oh. And if if you get to this finish line on the third lap and you drop that boomerang, I'll know it's you. Uh, and then, you know, if you don't drop a boomerang, I'll know it's you. Okay, good. All right, ready, set, go, going. Three laps. Swim, go, go, swim, go. Swim. There we go. Okay, we got some fans there. I see some spikes. Jump over the mud pits. There's some fans here. I don't want to hit them. Go. Yes, jump past. Don't let me. Oh, do not push me into those spikes. I'll take the mud any day over these spikes. These black things on the ground are spikes, by the way, if you did, if you couldn't tell. Those could have been boosts. I don't know, but I'm not about to step on a pressure plate that I know nothing about. I keep seeing it on repeat, so I'm assuming those might be helpful. 
Uh, depending on how much of a lead I have, I might risk it next time. Oh, here we go. Here comes the first panda. Here it comes. Okay, no, I have a good lead. I have a good lead. That's the first one. I'm barely ahead. I'm barely ahead right now, but we got a lead. I'll take any lead. Any lead is still a lead. Okay, we're on the last lap. I don't see him. I don't see him, so we're good. Oh! Woo! Those spikes could have killed me there. Please. Oh, oh, we got our first place winner. He's coming in. Coming. Yes! Oh! And it's Boomerang Boy! Boomerang Panda, you get to live today. Now, where is the other one? Uh, he better not be bailing on his death sentence. You head back to the enclosure. I got some business to deal with. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Finding this second circuit is proving to be a lot more complicated than I initially thought. I've checked about every place I could possibly think of, but I have come up with nothing. I spent a few days searching around for any clues that could point me towards the location of the second circuit and found nothing. I only have 25 days left before the 100 days are up, and I am stuck. I really hope I can figure something out soon, or I might fail this challenge. Okay, so let's make our way to another location where the second circuit might be. There's still like some locations I've been thinking about it, like the lab and security that I got to early on and once I got through them I didn't ever check them like heavily like the lab has a whole upstairs area that I quickly looked at but I didn't look in depth and security has this whole top floor that I didn't even look at like I came over here got the crate and left I didn't look at anything up here and there's no way this had nothing in it right there's got to be something up here aha I knew it it only took forever but we, we we made it we're good but there's no way in okay so it looks like I need some sort of lever to get in here and I can see a light crate in the back so that probably contains the second circuit so we are really close to escaping I just need to find a lever open this door and we have the second circuit so let's go ahead let's head back down and try and find this <laughs> I'm caught I'm not even gonna run I'm not even gonna run I'm caught excuse me um you're excused what do you think you're doing wandering around in these trees out of your pad mind you look pandas like to climb trees dude i don't know what to tell you unbelievable don't you got some bamboo to be chewing no i got these to be thrown no you're popo it oh. is popo popo no it's not popo it's ragged stop popo. you even have popo. me calling myself popo now all right popo come on here we are welcome to the arena popo why don't you get your cell phone in there and i'll start explaining all right come on Man. get on oh, wow all right and just so you don't get any funny oh. ideas oh wow someone thought ahead i bet you i can find a way through oh no i can't there's no way to break that all right popo it's as simple as can be basically you're in there and you're in a fight for your life situation okay well there's no way out of here as far as i'm concerned you're not done until everyone in here is absolutely satisfactory and trust me i know have ways of tracking these things <clears throat> great so let's start things off simple with some zombies we can use our boomerang here oh boomerang is apparently really hard to use actually now i do like how they're on fire because if they hit you you have a chance of catching on fire i can use the javelin right oh i can Oh, that's so good! That does nine damage when thrown. All right, Popo, you got some range on you, but so do these boys. Come on, come on out. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Oh, what? It doesn't hurt the skeletons. It bounces off of them. Watch this. Oh, that one hits? Okay. Okay, I, I, I can see I'm going to need to do something a little bit more drastic here. Like what? Ha! Oh God, spiders? There's oh, spiders. wait a second, it's daytime. Oh, wait, okay, hold on. I still got some stuff up my sleeve. All right. How much health do you have? Oh my God. Oh, come on, that should have hit. That bounced off him. There we go. Oh, nice job, Popo, but uh, you know, I got a few more tricks up my sleeve here. Oh, witches. I hate witches. Oh, that's gonna take a lot to kill these guys. Where's the, are there any more witches? Oh, there's come a bunch on. of witches. Go get them. Oh my God, you're attacking. Ow! Oh my God, it was instant damage. Oh, I'm taking a lot. Watch out, Popo. Yes. Oh, that actually did a lot. Okay. All right, Popo. Take it. Take a second to recuperate because this next one, you're super not gonna like. Grabbing all this XP. I need to. I need to start enchanting my gear. Go, go. Whoa! Yeah, there we go. Okay, I lost the javelin somehow. Five. Oh yes. Where'd you my see, javelin go? You have a go? real easy time there, Popo. So here's what I'm thinking. All right, give me between one to six jumps. Just one? Yep. All right. Five it is. Okay, here we go. Oh. Give me some creepers. Maybe we'll throw in the odd skeleton. Ooh! I may die here. Oh, I'm burning again. We need to kill one of these blazes. You're doing great, Popo. Okay, thank God for that shield. Thank goodness for that shield. All right, Popo. You put on quite a show, but let's give him a grand finale. Why don't we, all right? That, that wasn't the grand finale? <laughs> I hope you're ready for this. What is it? Ooh! Hey, he don't 
get knocked around too easy, do we? He doesn't have much <laughs> knockback, no. Do a billion bow damage. Just a billion bow damage. Come on. This bow's gonna break in a second. Oh my god, how much health do you have? Oh, there goes the bow. Okay, got him with the axe. Watch yourself, Popo. That Ooh. thing's dangerous. We gotta got up. We could use that. I don't know how much health he has though. Do I waste that here? Because there's still another slaughterhouse line. Oh, thank god I did not waste it. He had one hit. <laughs> oh! Oh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming in watching Popo. Oh, Absolutely wait. Absolutely crush it out. There. You know, I forget in my time of almost dying that this is a show. All gamed him. Oh, he's going to get my bet. You better not take that chapel. You better not take that chapel. Great. Well, there goes my best weapon. Well, at least I lived, I guess. All right. Come on up, Popo. Unfortunately, this is now uh, officially property of um of the Panda Park. Yeah, I, so. kind of, I kind of assumed I wasn't getting that back. I'll be taking In fact, wait. This is from my office. <laughs> he realized. Oh, no. Better get running, Popo. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. Better get on back there. <laughs> After searching through the security building one last time, I was able to find a hidden room. However, a locked door on the other side needs to be opened with a lever. Just as I thought I found the last piece, there's, of course, another thing standing in my way. I left the security room and began searching for that special lever. Okay, we are close to getting out of here. We literally just have to go to a few more places. I have checked this tent. I have checked the gift shop. I checked Unicorn's office again. I even went through the whole security security room just to make sense this thing is nowhere i can't find this lever meaning the last place it could possibly be is the lab if it's not in the lab i truly have no clue where this thing could be and i feel like i've been through the lab but i'm gonna go through it one more time to make sure now i know it's not in the lower half because this is just you know this stuff but i haven't didn't really look much on the upstairs but yeah it's just a bunch of desks and carpets it's not really anything it's also really convoluted oh wait no there's an elevator right here hidden elevator to the roof i don't see anything up here unless it's this <gasps> We have it. We have the lever. We have the lever. We have the lever. We have the lever. Okay, let's go up top. Quickly put this lever in place. Let's get this last circuit and let's escape this place. There we go. Lever in place. Check these crates. They're empty, 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 empty. Good. Check here. Old panda notes. Wait. It's, it's not a circuit. No. Experiment log. Experiment type buff panda. Experiment summary. When turning a panda into a buff panda, the panda gains the strength to break anything. Bedrock, obsidian, diamonds. You name it, it can break it. Well, that didn't that didn't help me at all. I mean, I guess it did. It confirms that the buff panda is a thing. It also confirms that it can break anything, meaning if I can get it, I can break out the front gate. But it didn't give me the circuit to actually get it. So I actually have no idea where this thing could be because I've checked literally everywhere. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely at a loss. After finding the hidden note below security, I now can say with certainty that if I can find the second circuit, I will be able to turn into the buff panda. And the book also confirms that the buff panda can, in fact, break the front gate. So all I need to do now is find that circuit and we will be able to complete this challenge. Okay, so I've made the decision that I'm gonna get myself caught and sent to Slaughterhouse 8, just in case it has the last item. In the past, Unicorn has given the last item item to the last slaughterhouse so it is very possible that it's hidden in there but before i go there they tend to be bosses so i'm gonna upgrade my gear grab any supplies i think i'm gonna need for this fight okay this should be good enough so let's go get our gear enchanted let's go get everything upgraded so that way we stand a chance in this final fight because this is not going to be easy because the bosses unicorns i've done in the past are insane look at this mutant zombie yeah exactly we can give our sword sharpness one i'm 100 percent doing that and then we also got to go ahead and enchant our armor. So I'm going to start by doing these two pieces here. I don't want them breaking. I'd rather get protection. Please give me protection. Darn it. Okay, protection. Okay, so this is what we got. This is what we're going in with. Okay, now we just have to get ourselves caught. So I got to find Unicorn and go bother him doing something dumb. I'm probably going to throw the boomerang at him so he knows it's Popo. Okay, so let's see. Is he in his office? This is where he normally... I see his nameplate. Careful. And boomerang. Ah! 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 Oh, stop throwing! Those dang things at me! What are you doing in here? You can't just have wild pandas just walking in into my office. Wait, I know that boomerang. Popo! -po. It was getting a little Popo. hot in here, so I thought I'd turn on your fan with the boomerang. I cannot believe this, Popo. -po. But I turned on your fan! But you are you out here looking for a fight so bad. Let me introduce you to Lulu. Yep, it's a boss. It's definitely sounding like a boss. Now you're probably wondering, what the heck? This is the dang dong gosh darn lookout tower it is the lookout tower i'm sure if you were to go downwards you'd see what i mean oh wait down oh my god can i go back up get back down there okay <laughs> okay he knew i was gonna come back up how do i even fight it okay i'm going in i'm just gonna jump up to it oh god oh god it makes bear noises whack 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 
Oh my god. Lulu has a lot of health. Lulu doesn't do much damage, so we're good. Our armor's helping us. Watch the health. Watch the health. We don't want it to go below half. Yep. We're dipping. We shouldn't be able to get in here. Do I have any blocks? I do. I got wood. I prefer not to use wood, but I'll use it. Come on, we can murder it this time. We're almost back at full HP. Jump here. Jump here. Yes! We're back up. We can kill it. We can kill it. We can kill Lulu. Yes! Yes, and it dropped the circuit! Covered in. Wait, wait, what did it say? Circuit covered in paint. Oh, that's gross. Well, Lulu just got. I can't think of any cool, like, things to say there, so uh, I won. It's okay, Ryan. I got a joke for you. Lulu? More like Rolud. Let's go see if we can turn into this buff panda now. We officially have the circuit. We're so close to day 100 that I'm gonna obviously wait till day 100 to do the escape. We should be good. Nice and simple. We're in the final room. This looks like. Can I get back up? Oh, I can just exit. I see. So if I stand here, okay, I'm gonna stand here. Oh wait, maybe I gotta hit the button. Okay, I'm gonna hit that button and then do it. Here we go. In three, two, one. Oh my God, look at me. I'm absolutely massive. I don't even think I fit out the door anymore. I don't, I definitely do not fit out the door anymore. So I'm gonna have to turn back into a normal panda and come back here on day 100 to make my escape. But I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna be able to bust through like all the walls and everything as if I'm in creative mode. So now if I have a pickaxe in my hand, I break like I'm in creative mode because of the strength bonus. Look at this. I just, <laughs> oh my God, am I broken. Now, if I go back up looking like this, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be stopped. So I'm gonna morph back into a regular panda. So now we're a regular panda again. So we're gonna make our way back up, back to the pin, and on day 99, we're gonna make our escape and hide out until day 100. And if we can do that and not die, we will have completed this challenge. So it is day 99, the day I can finally escape. There is nothing else I need to do. I've literally just waited for the day, so now I can just get out of here. We're gonna first turn into the buff panda now. So we need to make our way back all the way to that store. And then we're gonna have to break out pretty much all the way from the lab, all the way over here. We'll break the panda pin just to make sure that these pandas can also escape with me. And then we're gonna be all set. Okay, we're gonna go hit the button one more time so we can turn into the buff panda. So I'm gonna hit it right here so I don't suffocate this time. And there we go, we're giant. We are the buff panda. Look at me, I'm huge. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Okay, let's grab our pickaxe and let's start making our way out. Yep, we have our insta break. We do, oh, we don't fit. Let's just dig our dig our way out. It's okay if we don't fit. We can dig our own path. Okay, look at <laughs> look at me run through this. I'm huge. Here we go. Break right through this glass. Go straight through to the other side. Let's break out the front door that he's been trapping everyone in all this time. Pandas, you are free. Go free, friends. Now I just need to break out the front gate. Oh, I see unicorn. I see him in the circus. Look at this. Okay, I'm a buff pan. I don't think he can kill me. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Let's just start eating through everything. What in Sam? What the heck? Oh! Oh, a panda got into the lab! Panda got into the lab! Yeah, panda got into the lab! Yeah! Woo! Okay, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. We're not that fast, so we need to go. Run, 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 I run, run. Up the boys. We need to break out of the gate real quick. Okay. Why are these turning into diamond swords? What? Oh, fellas, let's go. get them! Okay, we need now I'm here. Wow! Oh, oh my god, it did a quarter of my health. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. And I need to find a hiding place ASAP because there's a giant panda. There are not many places I can hide. Oh, there's an army of them. We need to go. We need to go. Let's get that panda. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I don't fit. I don't fit. I don't fit. Let me climb this. Climb this. Okay, we need to go. Come on, I, I need to escape. Really this forest is really covered, so once I can find a good spot, I can actually just probably dig a hole in the ground. I saw him go this way, boys. Keep going. Come on, this way. Oh, I see a cave. We're going in that cave. I think we're gonna be good just to hide out in this cave. Okay, we're gonna wait here until nightfall and wait here until the sun rises. I think we may have just won the challenge. We've gotta be getting close to day 100. The sun's rising, I can see it. We can't be that far off, can we? Day 100, there it is! And we have won the challenge! Day 100 is here and we have escaped Unicorn Zoo. Just a reminder that we are gonna be go doing a giveaway on Twitter, giving away tons of Amazon gift cards, Roblox gift codes, you name it, over on my Twitter right now. That's right, we are trying to reach 75,000 followers on Twitter if we can. I currently have 68,000, meaning if we can just get a few thousand followers on Twitter, that means we will have reached the goal. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all later.